Hi everyone, welcome to Art with Miss Lin. Today we're going to do a quick drawing or painting using crayon and watercolor of a ice cream sundae bowl. Perfect for summertime. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start with the black crayon and I'm going to start with the bowl sketching out the, um, the ice cream. So I'm going to start horizontally like this from the middle or a little bit below the middle. We're going to draw a curve to draw our, the outline for a plate or bowl. That's the top. We draw a curve like this. Right? And then for the bottom, we're going to use a trapezoid, kind of like that. So simple shape. And then what I'm going to do is the trace is a little bit stronger. Then we're going to draw the ice cream on the top. All right. So you can use different colors. If you're thinking of like strawberry flavor, you can start with the red color. You want to divide, make some um, big circles like this. This could be one scoop. Okay. If you're thinking about uh, maybe another flavor using orange or Yellow, yellow would be really light, so it won't be really showing. So using orange, and you can make a different size. You can make it just a little bit smaller, and what I'm gonna do is for the middle one, we can overlap a little bit. I'm gonna make a green one here. So this one is kind of behind the first two, right, and then. You can add more scoops on the top of this one if you want to like, have a lot of ice cream. Or you can add some um, sweets, like for example, uh, biscuits, or a little cookie, or even chocolate. Right? So I'm going to sketch out some cookie over here. Maybe one of these kind of cookies, not really cookie. Forgot what these are called, but they are tasty. So using crayon to just draw out the outline and then we're gonna paint. Right. You can also think about adding some fruits. For example, um, like this part, you could add cherry or strawberry, right? I like that. So I'm going to add some strawberry up here, like that. Or even banana or uh, what else can you think of? Like um, lemon? <laughs> Let's see. Maybe some blueberries. Maybe just the kind of like on top here, right? So think about the fruit that you want to add. But uh, I'm not going to color it in because I want to do everything else with paint. Another thing that you could do is you could add some kind of chocolate or frosting or cream kind of dripping. And so I'm going to use brown. You want to kind of add a little bit of chocolate like this. Wiggly lines up and down. Maybe one over here. Mm -hmm. So however you want to draw out your ice cream, do that. I'm going to add just a few more things. Yeah, using this one, make some leaf, kind of like a mint leaf here. All right, and then just could connect this part, the bowl here. And then we can start painting, unless you want to add some more things, like a few decorations on the bowl, or a pattern to make it look different than just a plain bowl. All right, the next thing is we use uh, watercolor to paint. So let's start with the strawberry. 
different. Starting with just adding water to your paint. Wake up the paint. If it's dry, make sure that you put water on it before you start painting. Right, so this one is going to be red. And then instead of painting over here, I'm going to skip over to the other side. Although the crayon should block the water from spreading. If you paint right next to the area that's still wet, you might have the color blend in, which is fine too. Let's use brown for this. Maybe a different color for the other one, or lighter brown. You have to use the palette to spread out the paint, make it lighter. And then for the bowl, you can use any color you want, or if you want to make it somewhat transparent, then you have to paint the same color over here, yellow over here. Right. But I'm going to use blue. Let's go back and forth. If you need it darker, less water, more paint. When you are sketching, make sure you, um, using the crayon, you push down a little bit harder so that your lines are stronger. So now I have the bowl. Almost done. Maybe darker blue for the bottom here. And strawberry up here. More paint, you have to keep stirring the paint. Get more paint out if you want it to be darker. And some green leaves here. If you're thinking about vanilla flavor where it's going to be white, you don't need to paint that part and you can leave it kind of white but I would add a little bit of shadow either with like a light blue you can use the palette a little bit of shadow like down here even over here with the blueberries here Kind of light, very light. It's very light, like that. Let's do the blueberries, which is kind of purplish. Looks like two eyes. A little bit of blue in here. And just continue to finish your picture and add some background if you're finished with painting the main thing for example maybe you want to add a table maybe you just want some 
different designs on the back or like a plain one color background. Oops, blending my color here. Let's do some chocolate up here. And on this side too. Okay, make it darker like that. And then make it a little bit lighter on the top. Just adding water. I could also make the chocolate part darker over here. Looking good. I'm gonna add a little bit more shadow down here. Now that this part's dry, using more red, like stronger red. Let's curve it up so it looks like a shadow and makes it rounder. Same thing with the yellow, or whether I could use orange instead. A bit of shadow down here. Okay, blend it up. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have fun painting yours. I'll see you next time.